Hey, what's going on, everybody? The Halloween event has just begun. The boost started uh, yesterday, I believe, but the actual event has just begun, so I wanted to show my first impressions on the new items, as well as go over the uh, bosses and whatever the gifts or whatever. Oh, a pumpkin is whatever. I don't know what to call. So, first we'll go to the credit shop. I think everybody knew we got the torch bolt. But I don't know the stats on it. It does have unlimited ammo. 1k credits. Three round capacity for a crossbow. That's... I wonder if it's going to do the same as the other crossbow or if it's going to just do less. And it says PV armor penetration. So I thought it was supposed to have some new effect. I wonder if it has some secret effect that it doesn't tell you here. And then also we have the dark pumpkin implant, which is the LE implant that costs credits. 8% damage inflicted and has 3% damage reduction. That's actually good because in the earlier leak I saw, it had minus speed. I think it had minus 3% speed, but it has damage and damage reduction. That's actually really good then, but it can't be equipped with the golden implant, the golden pumpkin implant. So I don't know how I feel about that. I don't exactly know what the golden pumpkin implant is now. I wonder how this torch bolt is. I have the page up. I didn't read this at all. Does not create noise. Deals 25% damage in PvP. Damage per hit is 200. So it, it does a lot less than a normal crossbow. But it has three bolts. So it's a little bit less reliant on reload speed. But it does less damage. But it's got armor pen, I guess, which is interesting. Let's see what it says. A brand new crossbow, synthetic body, old bolt action rifle. Has heat steel bolts. Okay, so it heats the bolts, I guess. It improves the penetration at the cost of precision at longer range. It has a high accuracy, though. It's the same as the normal crossbow. But read instructions before use failure to follow instructions might result in serious burn malfunctions or users other loots and belongings spontaneous combustion. What the fuck? So does that mean you can just like burn random shit in your inventory? Sounds horrible. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I guess I'll need to know more about that. I'm not about to use that. What the hell? I would hope it only burns like random shit loot and not like your extra armors. That'd be something. Uh, I, I, I don't know if that's actually like real or if that's kind of just here, but that's really odd. Uh, I think I'd be sticking to this crossbow, but it has armor pens, so I mean, that's cool. I don't know about the item spontaneously combusting. That's. Uh, I don't like that, but anywho, we have crafts, so we have this golden pumpkin plant, two Meltica crafts, not bad, it requires five golden pumpkins you get from the scavenger hunt, 6% movement speed, 6% EXP, that's great, really good for free to play as well, I'll, I'll be, it costs two mil to make, it's not crazy though. So the Harvester of Sorrow, which is a scythe, five enemies hit. So it has enhanced melee damage radius as well. Wow. Okay, so that must be the new... The new whatever effect that they were talking about. In which uh, melee weapon can hit a lot more and I guess has a bigger range. That's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, these swiping hordes down with a melee weapon that's, that's pretty neat let's see you can craft a speed boost for 24 hours the golden pumpkin you can get extra ones let's see the cowl cost some burlap burlap and straw to make the scarecrow head one million for each of those wow two million for the bloody one you need burlap two crow feathers two crow bloods see, then we got burlap you can craft with halloween candy i'm assuming you get that from the drops as well 100k 
Well, straw, crow feathers, crow blood. These are all 20 Halloween candy one $100,000. Harvester blueprints. Halloween implant times 10. Okay, so there's other Halloween implants. I don't know if those are new. Those might not be new. I'm assuming you get those from the pumpkins. Scythe head. You can craft with Halloween implants as well. 200k. Okay, so I guess you just get a bunch of those and you can craft stuff. I think that's it for the Halloween stuff in here. Is there not a bloody cow? I thought there was a bloody cow. No. Oh, okay, just a normal cow. Okay. So that's the event, as well as there are these bosses in the map. In the deeper zones, there are uh, what looks to be Scarecrow. And now what I'm seeing are Slendermen. I did not see that before. Uh, that's new. I didn't see that. Where, where are those spawning? Oh, those are spawning in. Okay. Hmm. So there's Scarecrow spawning in the inner city the deep and slenderman spawning in the wastelands pumpkin heads are spawning in the newer zones well i probably won't fight it any of the pumpkin heads i might uh, i don't know if i'll be visiting the wastelands anytime soon i don't really have any speed boosts but i will go fight a scarecrow real quick and uh, see how that is we're a little bit in the cycle so i'm not sure how many people will be there but we got one two left from second so I'll head over there with a uh, hailstorm. Put on a good armor. I don't know how hard these things are going to hit. Alright, I'll see you in the city. Alright, so here we are in the inner city. I'm going to go for multiplayer because I don't feel like just grinding these things out for a long time, but uh, maybe I'll do a solo battle at some point. I don't know. I don't entertain them to do with the hailstorm, but. Tons of zombies, holy aggro. Lots of people moving there. I'm assuming everybody's just gonna be spam grinding these with their ults. But the map changed a little bit for this event. As you see, we have a bunch of really big boosts here 100% EXP, 100% weapon loot, armor loot, cash loot, ammo loot. So it's just like really beefed up loots. As well as there's like different look to the city it's got leaves on the ground looks neat kind of fallish you know nice little touch so this should be the boss block we got a lot of people here whoa okay that thing is pretty scary looking look at that that's crazy oh and we got crows I wonder how tanky these are. I wasn't sure if they'd be really tanky. I didn't really want to fight them in single player. Because it might just be like this big long battle. This volume is so loud. Holy. I gotta turn this down. My apologies. Jeez. I did not expect it to be this loud. Alright, so, I mean, it's probably still a little bit loud. I don't know why I have my volume up so high. Let's see, these things are pretty scary. I feel like I should take a hit from them just to see. Oh, okay, don't take a hit from them. Oh my god. Okay. Um... That broke my Tatakawa and put me on critical. Wow. Okay, so they do really high damage. Trick or cheat, 21. Very nice. So I think that's all, all they drop. Which means people's income is going to be a little low for a little while because no boss runs. Gonna actually have to use this loot event, huh? So these things will uh, pretty much just kill you unless you have actually good armor. 
Or at least decent armor. I don't know how much damage they do. I'll check the wiki, see if it's on there after. I believe I get five? And then there's also crows, which I assume those don't do a ton, but... I'm not prepared to test it at the moment. I'm one hit to, uh, like, everything, so I prefer to not get hit. I saw that... It looked like he was on fire for a second. This guy's using torch bolt, hitting for... F and the crow got me. Oh, well. Well, the crow does more than whatever d health I had left. Here we are. <laughs> the dead screen. Well, that didn't go great. We'll just create my skills there. So we got five of these trick-or-treat loots. So you can get severed hams, child's bunny, candy, Halloween candy, Halloween implants, straw, crow feathers, crow blood. I wonder how much these are right now before I open them. I'm always looking to make some money here. Easter eggs, trick-or-treats, and what, they're 40 grand a pop. That's okay. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll open them. That's 200 grand, though. Wow. From five of those. If you have a couple alt accounts, you could run those pretty easy. But I, I want to test my luck. Let's see. Got some crow feathers. Burlap. Halloween candy. Whoa! Boost experience gain by 50% for one hour? All right. Wait, that's not bad at all. I got the shaft. Okay, well, that's not bad. Let me put that away. I want to craft uh, everything preferably, but yeah, this Halloween candy kind of nice. That's uh, actually, wow, that's really nice. I will try to get the scavenger hunt location, or at least one of them for today. Let's try to help anyone out that hasn't actually got there yet. I need money, shit. Hmm. Okay, so there's no data on it, but... It broke my Tacticawa, which is pretty decent. Got 22 endurance. 390 dirt, ripped right through, it took me to critical, so... That's a lot of damage. I would say pushing 450 maybe. I'd probably maybe even say 500, 500 damage. That might be fair. Four to 500 damage a hit, so. Probably as hard or harder than a charred titan. All right, so I'm gonna try to figure out where that scavenger hunt location is and then I'll head there. Alright, I have gotten the location from the Discord. It was appears to be posted by somebody called Stanley Lynch. So I appreciate that. Uh, it looks like it's five up, three left in this top right building. So I'm gonna head over there and grab that. And I'll show you exactly where it is in the city. Alright, so I made it. Here we are in the map. There's second arms. You go five up, three to the left. It's above this two by two. In this top left bit. It should be in this top right building here. Should be able to go up in there. I don't know exactly the loot. I think they said it wasn't super specific or maybe it was the top right body. I'm not exactly sure. But I'm gonna head up into this building, check it out. I don't know how the people even figure this shit out. I looked at the clue and I was pretty much clueless. So it looked like from the picture, maybe it's that sink or maybe it's upstairs. Oh, I should probably look at the picture. 
Right here, come on. There it is, let's go. So there's the first golden pumpkin. Get that golden pumpkin. I believe you need 10 of them to craft the implant. I would highly recommend getting all 10. The Dead Frontier Discord, pretty easy to join. Uh, it's a little radio thing on the website. I believe it looks like a little radio. It's, it's definitely on the website somewhere. And there's people in there that'll uh, figure it out and tell, tell everybody. Uh, it wasn't like instantly right after. It's like 2 p.m. Eastern that they uh, released the new clue. Uh, I don't know when they released it. I checked like 20 minutes after. And I didn't see a solid answer yet, but uh, yeah, I would recommend looking there. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. Thanks everybody for watching. Good luck in getting your Halloween stuff. Opening up your loot stuff. Getting good RNG and whatnot. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content in the future. I don't know how much Dead Frontier will be doing, but uh, I do a variety of shit. Drop a like. Ask any questions you want down below. I can try to answer. Yeah, thanks for watching.